A reading from the book of prophet Isaiah. The way of the righteous is level. O just one, you make smooth the path of the righteous. In the path of your judgments, O Lord, we wait for you. Your name and your renown are the soul's desire. My soul yearns for you in the night. My spirit within me earnestly seeks you. For when your judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world learn righteousness. O Lord, you will ordain peace for us, for indeed, all that we have done, you have done for us. O Lord, in distress, they sought you, they poured out a prayer when your chastening was on them. Like a woman with a child who writhes and cries out in her pangs when she is near her time, so were we because of you, O Lord. We were with a child, we writhed, but we gave birth only to wind. We have won no victories on earth, and no one is born to inhabit the world. Your dead shall live, their corpse shall rise. O dwellers in the dust, awake and sing for joy, for your dew is a radiant dew, and the earth will give birth to those long dead. In the first reading today, Prophet Isaiah proclaims the way of the righteous is level. He tells us that the just one makes smooth the path of the righteous. Do you agree? But how can we reconcile these words of the Prophet with all the toils and sufferings good people of God have to endure? Jesus calls us to himself today in the gospel, telling us to take his yoke and learn from him. But is his yoke really easy and his burden really light? It seems Christians have to bear a lot more burdens than non-believers. Religious obligations, morality, doctrines, and so on. On top of them, Christians have to carry blames for lots of global and social problems. One of the insights this pandemic gave to me is that there are very few things in this consumerist world that are essential to life. And almost all I have does not help me to arrive at eternal life. On the contrary, they often become obstacles on the way to it. I create obstacles by spending my resources. The more I remove my unnecessary desires from my heart, the bigger space I have for spiritual freedom to be with the Lord. The righteous person Isaiah speaks of is one who is in the right relationship with the Lord. To be righteous before God, I need to remove unnecessary desires from my heart and vanity from my life. Then the way will be level and smooth. When I desire only the Lord Jesus, I won't have to bear all the cares of the world. My shoulders will be freed from all burdens of care and worry. When my heart is not on the things of this world, I won't care if I have to bear blames for the name of Jesus. Only if I can take his name alone on my shoulders, I will find true 
rests.